Hey time travelers. For those of you that have been following me on my alternate day fasting experiment, I've got good news and bad news. Today is Tuesday, the 89th day after I started this experiment. And if you don't see the bad news, then I'll point it out. I'm at the same weight that I was at the beginning, but I'm gonna get into it and explain why. Hey, what's up? Hey. Go back in the basement. You're not in this scene. But I want snacks. I want to look in the fridge and to see if there's anything in there. That's why, Sai. The other side of me or other me or whatever you want to call them has been always eating stuff all the freaking time. But last week I made those monster cookies and you made them the weeks before and we didn't eat sugar for a bunch of weeks. We should be doing good. That's only part of losing weight. I was also trying alternate day fasting and the days I, that I ate, trying to eat only small meals. But we were able to fast on some days, but we gained the weight back because we were eating like six monster cookies on the monster cookie days. Well, at least we went a whole freaking month without eating any sugar. Yeah, okay, but whatever. <laughs> ah, just feel like I want right, to eat well, something. Where, where was I? I? Oh, wow. Well. The other me was pointing out whole month of not eating sugar. So I think I'll be doing a 30 days no sugar video. So get subscribed if you wanna see that. But look at my weight, how I started before the no sugar here, and ended up there. Cause I think I was eating more calories and carbs eating my monster cookies than when I was eating sugar out of the vending machine at work. And just look at May. And I know it's not as pretty because that's not multicolored markers. But 162, 162, ending at 165, 169, sugar, fast, sugar, fast. You see the pattern? Weight's going up and down. But part of it was definitely because I, or other me, or something, was eating the rest of the chip morsels for making the cookies on the other days. Not the sugar only days. You were just like eating the extra morsels out of the bags. So my next step now is to try to make something that has no morsels in it. So I'm gonna make um, snickerdoodles and I'll tell you how they come out. Okay, time travelers. So I'll let you in on how the snickerdoodles came out. Pretty good. They could have been better because I had too much flour because I didn't put enough sour cream because I actually snacked on my sour cream until it was almost gone and I barely had any to put into my cookies. And another thing happened, which I'll tell you in a second. Look at my previous R vlog if you want to see the recipe, by the way. It's already in the cards. These are sugar-free keto cookies, by the way, which also happen to be gluten-free. Modifications to the recipe to make them snickerdoodles or just sugar cookies are in the description of the previous video that I mentioned. So I did the thing where I flattened the cookies with a fork and I sprinkled on cinnamon and allulose sweetener mix on top and I put too much of it. I always get carried away with Mixing cinnamon with sweetener, I don't know. I end up with like a bowl of the stuff when I only need a teaspoon of each for a bunch of cookies. Whatever. They did come out pretty good and it gave me something to eat when I got stressed out at work that didn't have chips in it so that I'd be eating the extra chips and being over macro on my diet. And also, I still wasn't eating sugar, so that's still a bonus. I'm still going good with that. Trying to keep this video short, so what should we do next? Random thing or... Oh, hey, peeps. It's other me here. I got to level 15 in endurance. It's called survival. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Mortal uh, Kombat project. My fingers. Stretch out your fingers like this. And then when you're done doing that for a while, go do something different, like wash the dishes. Trust me, it'll work. <laughs> he interrupts and he's talking about this game that I've been obsessively playing ever since I figured it out, how to download it and get it going. Something I've been wanting to play for years. It's from Mugen, which is made up game something something, I don't know. And they've always had an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 variant that I wanted to try and I finally got into it. And you can see it right here. See me selecting all these characters. But this isn't how it comes. It comes with a bunch of Street Fighter and Killer Instinct characters. Oh, you and modded it? I've been fighting stupid characters like Ronald McDonald and Homer Simpson and a version of Shang Tsung that turns into Jackie Chan and turns upside down and he's spinning around in circles and punching you with his hands. It's friggin' stupid! Well, I've been trying to tell the peeps about it. 
but all the crazy non-Mortal Kombat characters. Yeah, I figured out how to remove all those characters. I've been doing it all night, and I'm trying to do a short video so I can get to bed. Oh, oh I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Fine, go. Any losers? Been downloading. I'm not been spending a bunch of time trying to read their forums, because you know how forums are. You can get lost for hours trying to figure out what the heck they're talking about and go through 30 pages of conversations. But I've been trying to find other versions and other Mortal Kombat characters to add to the game. So the, the point is, if you guys want to see a video on that, it would probably go on my son Charlie's channel because he's the gamer. So tell me in the comments if that's something you'd like to see so Charlie and I can get together and record a video or some videos about that or something. But I'll give you a quick taste. Come on, get my, get my headphones. Just a quick, quick, quick taste. So, we've been obsessively playing survival. Me and other me. I've been getting really good with this updated version of Noob Cybot. It's crazy, it's just you keep fighting characters and they just keep coming non-stop. Get on! Rip that robot half! Cybot wins fatality. Quit jumping at me! And a thousand femurs across the floor. No skull, no rib cage. Alright, that's enough of that. Lol. Alright, let's get on to the enjoy this random thing section of the video. This random thing's from Deep Cool Official on Instagram. I saw this the other day. I sent it to Charlie and he totally agreed. Here's that, that mean old guy, which is a real guy, by the way, separate thing. I, I saw a video on him the other day. He seems like a pretty cool guy. But it says, gamers after two hours of online classes. My back hurts. So tired. Such pain. Can't sit anymore. Gamers after six hours of playing games, which is me and other me for every day for the last few days, except we've been doing a lot of filming and editing. And in between all that, we've been doing this as a break to just wind down. He says... Such refresh. Much wow. Very interest. <laughs> the bad grammar is so bad. It just... <laughs> drives to home the point. And now... Dad joke... Bleh. And now, dad joke time. This dad joke comes from my dad. He sent me this meme or whatever. It says, This is ridiculous. It's July 7th and people are still setting off fireworks. One almost caught our Christmas decorations on fire. <laughs> Lol. I used to be bad at taking down Christmas decorations. July 7th was a week ago. Yeah, well, we've been filming and editing YouTube videos. And playing Mortal Kombat. I told them. For breaks. Yeah, I told them. <sighs> Anyways, bonus dad joke time, I guess. Scroll down in my text messages from my dad, and it says... Someone stole my mood ring. I don't know how I feel about it. And I said, Oh, oh snap. snap! Jinx! Mm, you got me. You used to do that all the time in your videos. No, oh, well, uh, it's a funny trope. I think we should get back into doing that. I don't know why, but I can't really ever get you I, on I, 
I, th I don't Jesus. think you'd be able to do it as well or as often as I could. No, well, that's an awkward end screen. Well, this is awkward. Hey peeps, subscribe so you can see random stuff and shenanigans. Bye. For real this time.